Hello, this is Ruth Ann. Welcome to my channel. This is my next video installment of my perfume empties video videos. Um, the perfume bottles that I've emptied in the last two months, and I'm just going to give brief descriptions and my impressions and whether or not I'm going to repurchase. So first up is Madame Rocha by the House of Rocha, and this is the EDT. So this perfume is absolutely gorgeous. This is a one of those complex French florals with tons and tons of notes, but you can't pick any one note out in particular. Uh, but there is a very heavy dose of benzoin and tonka in here that gives it a very deep quality, a lot of richness. It smells very expensive, very classy, makes you smell... This almost, of all the fragrances I own, makes me feel like I'm rich, even though I am not. And it lasts a good six plus hours. It's very inexpensive, under $30, and it's got this really high quality metal cap and a great sprayer. Highly recommend this, and I already do have a backup. Next up, I have Wish by Chopard. Okay, so this one thing, the way it sits on is annoys me because it takes up so much space. This is a very heavy patchouli that's very, very sugary sweet. It's been compared to Angel. That's why I purchased it because I didn't want to buy Angel and I really don't like Angel. This one is much more tolerable. If you like the patchouli that's in Coco Mademoiselle or the patchouli that is in Angel, but it's not as dirty as the one in Angel. Angel really smells dirty to me. This does not. This is very girly, very sugary, very pretty. Uh, it lasts really well. It's not very expensive, but it's just not my cup of tea. There is a few drops left in it and that I'm not going to use because I'm just over it. But if you like that kind of patchouli, I would recommend this because it's inexpensive and it lasts. Next up, I have Charlie Gold. Now this is, of all the Charlies, probably the most popular, especially among the youth. This one I did like, but as I went through the bottle and when I picked it out as one of the ones that I was going to target for emptying, in the last couple of months I got really over it. Like, I'm not going to repurchase this. It's a real overdose of, I don't know if it's like benzoin or tonka, but they're probably the inexpensive kind because you can get these Charlies for under $12.00. And it gives it a real butterscotch quality that I kind of liked, but then I got really over it and it became cloying to me. So if you are interested in something that smells like butterscotch, uh, but it's not sweet, it's like if you, it's like a butterscotch extract. That's the closest thing. If you've ever cooked with that, that's a lot like what this smells like. And um, I enjoyed it, but then I got over it. So I'm not going to repurchase it, but it is pretty. If you're interested in something like that, give this a try. Next up, I have um, Alyssa Ashley Vanilla. Look at how dirty the, sorry about that, how dirty that is. Anyway, I'm going to take that off because it's so bright. So Alyssa Ashley Vanilla, this is an extremely gourmand vanilla. This smells like, exactly like vanilla extract out of the bottle. If you're going to spray it on yourself like a perfume, this is what it is. Not super long lasting, probably four hours, but also not very expensive. This is a tester. I got for about $12, and it's only 50 mils. Uh, I did enjoy it, but I'm not going to repurchase it because it doesn't last very long. But it is a very gourmand vanilla. Next up, I have Anne Klein 2. So Anne Klein, I believe, has three fragrances, maybe. And this is the second one. This came out in the 80s, I believe. This is very much like Calvin Klein Obsession, and it's very much like YSL Opium, the original Opium. So it's that kind of oriental spicy. Long-lasting, very inexpensive. I believe I, I picked up this, it was in a gift box at uh, Kohl's, I believe, and it was under $20. So um, very pretty, and I really do like spicy. So if you like Taboo or the other fragrances I mentioned, this is definitely worth trying. Alright, next up, my desk is a mess, so you're going to have to put up with some noise here, sorry. Burberry for Women. This is a very preppy, outdoorsy fragrance. If you're familiar with Burberry fragrances, that's what they all kind of smell like. That is their aesthetic. 
which is right up my alley. I love those kinds of fragrances. This has a real freshness to it, but not an overdose of freshness. This is more earthy, outdoorsy, and it's got a heavy dose of a non-sweet vanilla, a non-gourmand vanilla, uh, with a lot of beautiful musk in there. It's just absolutely gorgeous, and uh, I do plan to repurchase this. Really, really enjoy this. Very strong, very long-lasting, a good eight-plus hours. Next up, I have Carla Musk. I've never seen this discussed at all on YouTube except by me. So I buy these on, um, this is one of my favorite musks. It's a very stripped down, plain, if you just want to smell clean, fresh, but you don't want to smell like perfume, uh, soapy, yellow, warm, sexy musk. This is luscious and beautiful. Carla Musk comes out of Mexico. They have body powders and lotions too. I have tried those and they are all wonderful products. Very inexpensive. The only place I've ever been able to find this is on eBay. And I believe it's shipped just directly up from Mexico from uh, second-hand buyers. Gorgeous, long-lasting. It's very unisex. Uh, it does have a bit of an opening of bergamot, but then the bergamot drives down and you're left with this beautiful, like I said, warm, sexy skin musk. Uh, really, really nice. And I already have two backup bottles. Next, I have Arpege by Lanvin. This is the OG, which has been reformulated and re-released. This goes back to the 1920s, I believe. It predates Chanel No. 5. Uh, this whole image of the foundress of Arpege and everything has a long, or of Lanvin, I'm sorry, has a long story that I'm not going to go into, but you can find it virtually anywhere else. You look at this uh, perfume being reviewed. This is a very powdery, hyacinth smelling uh, French floral. When I looked up the notes, it actually did not list hyacinth, and I was shocked because to me, this smells like powdery hyacinth with aldehydes, and it is gorgeous, sexy, feminine, girly. Pow if you like powdery florals, you need to try this. You can get these for under $30, and they last all day and absolutely gorgeous. And I just purchased a backup, and that's why the cap isn't here, because I bought a tester. And then next, I have two more. This is a house called Biblos. You can see that Biblos, Biblos. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. This is a Greek perfume house. They sell a lot of uninote, solinote kind of stripped-down fragrances, which are great for layering. This is Sandalo, or Sandalo. This is just straight up sandalwood. Very dry, very beautiful. Uh, sometimes I'm not in the mood for a very complex perfume and I just want to smell like sandalwood. And this is great for winter and fall. And I, uh, because it is so inexpensive, these are under $20 for a full four fluid ounces. I also use this as a room and bedding spray. And I always spray my bedding before getting into bed every night. And this is one of my favorites and my husband enjoys it as well. Very unisex. If you like sandalwood, definitely get one of these. Absolutely gorgeous. And last, I have one of my um, vintage bottles of Timeless. Timeless is from Avon. This is a lot like Chanel Number no. 5. It's an aldehydic uh, Shepra floral, but it, it is toned down oak moss. Not an oak moss bomb by any means, but it's got a lot of amber. This is like an ambery Chanel Number no. 5. Uh, but